The Rocky Horror Picture Show premiered 45 years ago. I remember when I first saw the movie, I thought, are they really doing that? Can they do that? Countless screenings later, it's now the longest running movie in cinema history. It just struck there's like an arrow in the heart. It's all thanks to the community of diehard fans who celebrate Rocky Horror's warped perspective. Let me show you a rhyme, maybe play you a sign. You look black, you both. The Rocky Horror Picture Show first hit theaters in 1975, a big screen adaptation of a successful theatrical production in London. I see you shiver with anticipation. The movie starred Susan Sarandon, Barry Bostwick, future rock star Meatloaf, and Tim Curry, who originated the role of Dr. Frankenfurter in the stage show. Well. How about that? Despite a meager reception at the box office, Rocky Horror slowly crept its way up to cultural phenomenon. The general public was not ready for anything like that. The kids were. The flick developed a fan movement unprecedented in cinema. I mean, it happened, I suppose, because four or five people were smashed one day and went dressed as the characters. and and it just sort of took off from New York. Weekly midnight screenings evolved into an immersive theater experience, and in short time, they were popping up across the country. We went on to be the biggest cult fil film in history. People line up to see it a hundred times, they dress like the characters, and throw things at the screen. That's why we're opening hey, Tim and Meat's one-stop Rocky <laughs> Horror <laughs> Shop. <laughs> All the Rocky Horror props you need under one roof. While the movie played on screen, shadow casts dressed as the characters and reenacted scenes. What all the parents are worried about is that what's going on in the audience. Can't blame us for that. The audience got in on the fun by ceremoniously throwing items at the screen and, of course, dancing the time warp. I don't know. I think, I mean, people are writing papers on it now, like breaking down the barrier between film and the audience. I get sort of very earnest students of sociology saying, you know, will you read my term paper? For many, going to a Rocky Horror Midnight screening turned into a seminal coming-of-age experience. The little kids start talking about, have you seen the Rocky Horror Show? And they aim to be able to go to see. I think it's become a rites of passage. I see it as sort of a coming-of-age uh, experience, too. When they reach the age of 12 or 13, they finally grow up enough and become an adult, and they can go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show on Saturday night. What am I happen to Saturday night? I remember I played the record enough that I had to buy it again. I wasn't allowed to see it. I've been a fan ever since. I used to sneak it and watch it all the time until I, my mom finally walked in on me one day and I tried to stop it and it wouldn't stop. Rocky Horror went from underground hit to mainstream. Good evening. My name is Jim Carrey. Even becoming part of Jim Carrey's early stand-up comedy. And see you. What's in the snap? Over the years, Rocky Horror has received all kinds of pop culture tributes. I've one thing to say, and that's damn it, Janet, I love you. It was a great episode to do because I think we're all, our show is all about being an outcast, and I think that Rocky Horror is a show for outcasts to go to. And in 2016, the musical was reimagined for a star studded TV production. Quick with fear, you tiny fools! I think one of the most special things about Rocky Horror is, is the theme of it has mm -hmm. remained true. It's be yourself, be true to yourself, and explore uh, who you were meant to be. In a groundbreaking portrayal, Laverne Cox was cast as Dr. Frankenfurt. Murder. What's really interesting to me about this character is that she's, she's an alien, and I think one of the most powerful things about um, Rocky Horror Picture Show is that for over 40 years, it has been a symbol for people who are identified as LGBT or queer in some way. It's appropriate that our Frank Converter is, is a woman now and a trans woman. Yes. Laverne hit upon the biggest part of Rocky Horror's legacy. For anyone who's ever felt different, or maybe they'd like to, there's a one-of-a-kind cinema experience waiting for the next generation to step into the roles of Janet, Dr. Scott, Janet, Brad, Rocker. I suppose it's about people that are outside of society and find their way in. I would like to think it's because it encourages people to have dreams, not just to dream something, but to be it, and that it's all about whatever you are is all right. Creature of the night.